All right, so now we want to get in our hovercraft. And we want to go this way, I think. We'll go down here to this landmass under the sea, under the sea. And right there, Diablo Pillar, Ptolemaea. Alright, Tim doesn't have quite enough HP. Oh, dear God. Before I go in here, I might actually have to turn around. Three... Uh, he's got up P defend. Gonna be close, but he might be able to make it. Yeah, okay. We'll go with this. Yep. It's gonna be the last time we're gonna have to do the little spiral staircase teleport crystal up the tower daily. Kinda makes you sad, doesn't it? Damn it! Finger, stop canceling battles with enemies that we haven't seen before. I'm not meaning to do that, I swear. It's just... Oh, this place. Yeah, okay. What you got here is... Oh dear God, blow up, please. Okay, yeah. What you gotta do is blow them up before they knock you off. Oh dear God. Oh man. Did they come back? I don't remember. No, they don't. Good. Well, I blew that one up, so it's all good. You can actually also do this. If you face the other way, you can just, you know, skip them. So, yeah. It's really not that uh, big of a deal. They don't even do that much damage. Whoa. I think like a hundred damage uh, a thing. Just make sure you fill your HP up. Like, you know, if you get into a fight or something, just take the time to fill your HP up. <sighs> what we got here? Oki Pete and Land Lamprey. Pickpocket from this guy, lock on, lawnmower. And heal Kanan. Damn you. Eh, oh well. No, don't paralyze me. Oh wait, she's immune to that. <laughs> so, ha ha! Eat grenade! I'm not sure how you can lock on with a grenade, but, you know, Brad is awesome like that. I've been telling you this for... However many... How many hours have we been playing this game so far? Hold on. I will tell you. We've been playing this game for 17 hours and 20 minutes. And if you haven't figured out how awesome Brad is, well then, I'm, you know, there's just no hope for you. None at all. Alright, so... I need to actually... Mystic Word. And on him... Secret Sign... Okay, 
yeah, the secret to this is just to turn around. But I think you actually have to blow all these up. Ow, damn you. It sped up now. Oh God! Come on! Thank you very much for exploding. I do like the varieties in the uh, Diablo pillars. Like Antonora's was entirely puzzle based, and then they had different forms of reflex for the rest of them. You know, the puzzles in here are not only timing based, but well, they're actually mostly timing. Oh boy. Want to be at full HP for this. There's really not anything we can do more, I don't think, to... Yeah, right off the bat, you want to try a summon traps. Of course, he's talking about Billy. This is probably the most annoying fight on the entire first disc. First of all, he hits really freaking hard. Explosive Emperor Monster Belclair. I recommend you have two healers for this fight. This fight's going to take a while, by the way. Alright, so. First thing we want to do. Lucky card. Pickpocket. His... Chest. We want to take the chest out first. And I go ahead and use hype weapon on Cayman. Yeah, sure, why not? Yeah, the faster we can steal from this guy, the faster. We can let him not kill us. Now, Belclair has a bunch of attacks that you need to watch out for. Drill Drager does 2,000 points of damage roughly to one person. That's where Lilka comes in. It's her job to get rid of that, to heal from that. Unfortunately, I gotta wait for her to get. Uh, FP to use. Let's see. Let's see. He's weak to wind. I wonder if his is his chest weak to wind. Damn it, don't fail. Awesome, he is. Resonance Quake hits everybody for about a thousand. That's where Tim comes in. 
Also, you could use Mystic if you wanted to. Come on. You need to keep your HP as close to 2,500 as you can. All right, there's a worse bite. So now we can kill the chest. That's good. All right. High heal on Tim. Pickpocket from the drill. And where is it? Tempest on the chest. Both the drill and the chest have 5,000 HP, while the main body has 10,000 HP. I recommend you kill the chest first to remove the threat of Resonance Quake, because that's where that move comes from. But you, you want to hold off on killing the drill until you've stolen and are ready. Because as soon as you kill his, uh, the drill, he starts spamming an attack called Megaton Attack. Does about 2,500 points of damage to a single person. That will actually kill Tim. And I do not have... Uh. Right. Okay, I do not have uh. Oh, well, I need to finish that thought, I assume. I, I don't have the defense raising spell. I was going to use it on Tim and I forgot to get it. Basically, this boss battle takes a little longer than the rest, uh, but the best way to win is to just, you know, play it safe, keep everyone healed. Probably going to end up switching Tim out as soon as I kill uh, his drill, because he can no longer hit all party members, so Lilka should be able to handle all of the healing. Clear. And I could uh, I could put somebody else up front, like I don't know, Ashley. Ashley hasn't had any screen time in a while. But like I said, this this guy is mostly just annoying. Because you gotta spend a lot of time healing instead of killing him. But after you kill his his chest, well then um, you can spend Most of the healing can be done by Lilka by herself. Well, all of the healing can be done by Lilka by herself because of the fact that he can only hit one person at the time. Since Tim might be able to survive, we'll see. I don't know if he can survive Megaton Attack or not. Like I said, we'll see. Drive cut. Tempest. Man, I'll, I'll hold off on using Ashley. There's really no point. Ashley's actually, if you don't use access, Ashley is actually probably one of the... He's probably the weakest normal party member you get. as long as an enemy has an elemental weakness. Now, if an enemy does not have an elemental weakness, 
then that'd probably be Lilka as the weakest damage dealing party member. Okay, let's see. Where's High Vortex? Drive cuts. This fight is over. If not this turn, then next turn. And he didn't even use his Megaton attack on me. So I didn't even have to find out if Tim could survive it. So hardy har har har. And we get the best vest. Which, ironically enough, is not Brad's best armor in the game. Even though it is clearly labeled as such. It's false advertising, I tell you.